I don't know if I'm so, so much of a celebrity, but it's what really is satisfying for me is to see that a lot of people come close to you and that they're interested in seeing your experience. And it's very nice to know that you sort of had an impact and that people can grow and learn from your own experience because it, it took us a, such a long way to get where, to where we are that it's very nice to be able to share uh, your past experiences and help others get into uh, good shape rather quickly. I think the ACE team, we, we have a tradition of doing really bizarre games. Rock of Ages was voted by the Insider Game Awards, the most original game of the year, uh, considering all the industry, which was quite a surprise for us. Uh, I think the uniqueness of the art direction and the game direction that ACE team has is what makes our games unique. Um, basically that we have quite a lot of reputation for doing weird games and Rock of Ages is no exception. Make something different, unique. Don't try to make the same games that other people are doing in the industry, especially not the big studios because from a point of view from pr production values, it's your, you won't be able to compete. I mean, uh, games, the typical war theme games and the Call of Duties and these, they're pulling, they're putting so much investment, so much money into these games that you're really going to have to use your creativity rather than the, 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 the production of the title to make it stand out. I would say create something for everyone. Uh, don't concentrate only in the Brazilian market. That doesn't mean don't make a Brazilian game. I think you can do something like a Brazilian game and it can be successful. But don't exclude the rest of the world because the biggest markets out there are the United States, Europe, Japan. And you want to have those people buy, buy your titles if you want to be successful.